because the salivary gland is a gland, all of the malignancies of it, or almost all of the malignancies, would be adenocarcinomas, wouldn't it? All of the benign tumors of it might be called adenomas of some type. This is a salivary gland. Notice that we don't have normal salivary gland, classical histologically normal tissue to compare it to because there is none. This is all tumor. Notice also that it is composed of glands because virtually all of the salivary uh, gland tumors have to be glands. Notice that these glands are irregular. Some of them have almost a linear or cord-like or trabecular appearance. Some of them have more of a classical asiner type feature. Notice that here's a part that's necrotic. So because of the irregular haphazardly infiltrating glands in the necrosis, you can already suspect this is cancer, and it is. This is an adenocarcinoma of the prostate gland. What I want to point out quickly is that you even see these little structures right here within what looks like the capsule as well. So this is malignant. Now, I know if I go up really close and high, you're going to say, well, you know, those nuclei don't look too terribly bad. Well, they're not. They look totally benign, as a matter of fact but they do infiltrate haphazardly. This type of adenocarcinoma is called adenoid cystic carcinoma. And the reason why this is a very unusual, curious type of not only salivary and neoplasm, but a cancer of any type, is that it grows very, very, very slowly. You can have this uh, in your neck, in one of your salivary glands, and characteristically and usually, be alive 5, 10, 20 years later and die of something else. These glow, grow very, very, very slow. These little glands also often grow along a nerve sheaths, although I don't think I could see them here because I don't see much by way of nerves. Uh, and this is the kind of adenocarcinoma you want to get if you ever get one because it grows so slow you usually die of something else. Uh, thank you very much.